The majority of our, um, our farm is in this corn, soybean, corn, oats, hay rotation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need cattle or some kind of a ruminant to consume the hay. Mm -hmm. And then we have oats and we need something to eat the oats. So uh, the young calves and the young pigs uh, fit into this program to use up the corn, the beans. Mm -hmm. We even use our own beans. How do you? Extrude them, mm -hmm. or you could roast them so that we can <coughs> keep our own beans and not truck them off someplace mm -hmm. and then have to, that takes a Buy lot of energy. Buy something else? Mm -hmm. Well, it takes a lot of energy to do that. That's mm -hmm. not very ener energy efficient. No. So that we can use all the uh, crops that we uh, raise here, and then the animals furnish the manure mm -hmm. to, uh, give us the basis of our, our fertility program. But in uh, what, we're, what we're learning, that even with, and then we even use um, human waste from the city of Boone. The sludge is brought out here and, and that is dumped into a bunker with our manures and then we take that. So you mix it. And, mm -hmm. and bring it and put it back on the fields. Mm -hmm. Does the city pay you to take it away or do, you don't have to pay them, I hope? Uh, in our situation, we're getting some reimbursement now, and uh, I, probably if you'd ask that question uh, several times, you would get several different answers that some farmers are buying it, uh, some is free, and some are being paid to take it, so it all depends on the situation. We probably do not need uh, the sludge here because we have the livestock to help build structure and soil, but I uh, believed in the idea that what came from the farm should be returned to the farm and and w we got to get into that mode. Uh, probably some neighbors here that do not have any livestock could probably better utilize this as a soil uh, builder than, 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 than we need it. But mm -hmm. anyway, so that we're finding even with all of that that we're needing some starter fertilizers and some nitrogen to, to um, start this system because with ridge till uh, we have not excited the soil to release nutrients and we've got cover crops that are we're holding nitrogen to, so it doesn't get in the groundwater well it takes some time to get release and mm -hmm. we're going to uh, plant the crop and take out the cover crop and cover up the manure and plant the crop all in one operation so we need some nitrogen to get that system started have you tried it without the extra nitrogen? And, yes, and it yes, has yes, and I've learned the hard way mm -hmm. that it, uh, we're just kind of tying one hand behind our back that the corn, uh, it just doesn't grow. And since we're trying to do this with the least amount of herbicides, we need a plant that comes out of the ground, gets ahead of the weeds. Mm -hmm. And so it, that all kind of fits together. So we buy some starter fertilizer mm -hmm. some, with some potassium, because we're short of potassium in this area. Mm -hmm. And there's something about rich till that uh, there's a problem with potassium uptake. So we're trying to oh. solve those problems. So you just because there's a problem, if it's a good technique or technology, you don't want to throw it away. You want no. to find your way, work your way through it, and uh, and find the answers. And take what you need to apply to your right, own right. situation.